Hi, uh, quick video to show you how to set up um, VPN, uh, in particular here a Lamnia VPN on Mac OS X Sierra. Now Mac OS X Sierra, Lamnia only supports uh, the L2TP version. Uh, also if you've been advised to use PPTP, uh, you can only use that in El Capitan. So if you're already running Mac OS X Sierra, it's always got to be the L2TP connection. So anyway, uh, let's crack on with that. So it's the Apple in the top left hand corner, System Preferences, and it's a network we're looking to uh, set up. So I'll click on that. So now we go to add a network, and obviously it's a VPN we're setting up. And obviously there are the different VPN types. As I said, we're doing L2TP, and we're gonna call this Lamnia VPN test. You can put in whatever you want to put in there. If you're setting up multiple VPNs using multiple different servers, then uh, you can do that. Uh, UK1, UK2, UK3, USA1, UK, etc, etc. But just for this demonstration, we'll just call it Lamnia VPN test. We'll create that. Now we'll leave the configuration at default and we need to add the server address and the account name. Now, when you sign up for a Lamnia VPN, either a paid account or a free trial, and by all means visit the website lamnia.co.uk, that's L-A-M-N-I-A.co.uk, link in the description below. You can have a free trial and see the service for yourself. Uh, you'll receive a welcome email. In the welcome email is a link to all the server addresses and uh, a handy handbook with uh, tips and advice on setting up VPNs. Okay, so we're going to use one of our VPNs and here we go so we've typed in the address uk2s.lamniavpn.co.uk now we need the account name the username and the one we're testing with is thus now very importantly after the numbers comes an underscore some email clients don't show that clearly uh, often it shows as a space but it's very important that it's an underscore so we've typed in there as the account name 46147 underscore vpn at lamnia.co.uk. Also notice that the server address uses the domain lamnia VPN and the account name uses the domain lamnia. Uh, it's simply an extra security measure by using the separate domains. Okay, uh, so now we move on to the authentication settings, which we need our password, which again is sent to you in your welcome email and the shared secret and there we go so all the information that we've put in here the server address the account name the uh, password and the shared secret they're all sent to you in your welcome email and that's a welcome email whether you're using a free trial or whether it's uh, a paid account okay uh, now we're going to apply that but uh, before we connect, we're nearly ready to connect, but we click on the advanced tab and we need to make sure send all traffic over VPN is ticked. Okay. Okay, again, we'll apply that. Now we are ready to connect, but here you have the option of show VPN status in the menu bar. Up here is the VPN icon. From here, you can connect to your VPNs and disconnect your VPNs. But just as a test, when you're setting up, let's press connect. And we can see that we've connected. We can see our IP address. And we can see up here in the menu bar that it's showing us connected. Now, all your traffic now will go through the VPN. In this case, it's a UK VPN. If any websites are blocked for geographical reasons, this will unblock them. You'll be able to use them. If they're blocked for other reasons, it'll do it. It's also encrypting all your data, which is very important if you're using public hotspots, Wi Fi's, bars, hotels. You should always, always have a VPN on. Anyway, um, if it's been helpful, this video, please like it. Please subscribe. We've got plenty of other videos. We're adding more all the time. Setups on Mac, setup on iPad setups on iPhones, top tips, etc, etc. So like, share, subscribe and thanks very much.